you know the desert hairy scorpion is the largest in North America? In fact, another name for it is the giant hairy scorpion. Hi, I'm Nancy with Arizona Game and Fish, and today I'd like you to meet one of those scorpions. Now, another reason for that name, hairy scorpion, they're not covered in fur, but they do have hairs on that tail and on their legs and they use all of those hairs to detect vibrations in the air. And just like tarantulas, they use that hair to determine whether something might be a prey item to eat or something really large that wants to snack on them and they need to get away. These scorpions can reach seven inches long. Now, most of their diet is going to be insects, but the pinchers that these scorpions have are strong enough that they are capable of eating other animals that are the same size as them, mostly small lizards, but even some small mammals. Now they do have venom, but again, just like our desert tarantulas, that venom is really only effective on the smaller insects. For the larger animals, they're really gonna have to use their pinchers and try to hang on. Now they don't normally want to use that venom since it can take up to two weeks to replenish their supply. So when threatened or provoked, they really don't want to use the venom if they don't have to. So they have a few different things they can try to scare off a potential predator. And one thing they will do is just hold those pinchers high up in the air and try to make themselves look bigger. They will threaten with that tail and they'll raise their tail all the way curled around. If the scorpion is provoked enough, however, it will use that tail and they will use their venom. Now for most humans, that venom is gonna be pretty mild. Um, you'll have some pain, but it's similar to a bee sting. Um, but people can have allergic reactions. So just like all the rest of the Arizona wildlife, if you're lucky enough to spot something out in the wild, just use your eyes to observe it and let them be. Now we do have plenty of scorpions here in Arizona. Now the giant hairy scorpion is going to be under debris, logs, rocks, or things like that. You might have heard of the bark scorpion, which is much smaller, but it is potentially much more deadly. They have a neurotoxin, and unlike the larger hairy scorpion, the bark scorpions can hang on to the same debris, rocks, logs, upside down. So humans have to be very careful. If you pick up a log, the desert hairy scorpion will be sitting on the ground. However, a bark scorpion could be hanging on underneath. Desert hairy scorpions are most commonly found in the Sonoran and Mojave deserts here in the Southwest. They're really important to people since they do love to eat insects. It's a helpful animal to have around to help control all of the insect population. One of the really cool things about scorpions is when they have their young, and these guys can have up to 30 babies at a time. Those babies are defenseless. They're small, white, and they don't have that hardened exoskeleton like the adults do. So guess what? Those babies climb on the mom's back and they stay there until they have their first molt and can survive on their own. Up to three weeks they're hanging out there. Talk about take your kids to work every day for three weeks. If you'd like to learn more about the giant hairy scorpion or any of our other amazing Arizona animals, please check out the Arizona Game and Fish YouTube channel or the Arizona Game and Fish website for more information.